Cowboys. Game begins 425 at Jerry's World. You may remember that Skip Bayless said the Cowboys will win the division. We welcome in our friend. This is news to him. <laughs> our friend and NFL analyst, yeah. Darren Woodson, former Cowboy. He's at the desk. Um, yeah, he was traveling. Really? He was traveling yesterday. He didn't know this. Yeah. Oh, really? You said I this did. yesterday. I, I had an epiphany yesterday. By default, though. He said it was by default. By default. All right, so before and, we, we give it over to you, uh, we're going to let Skip Bayless yes. set it up. Let me explain this yes. to my friend, Darren Woodson. Please do. One of the great Dallas Cowboys, by the way. Darren, not so bullish on this year's team, as he said on our show two or three times. I've said many times before the season began, this team has six and ten written all over it. I believe it's going to go ten and six and steal the division by default because the harder I look at Philly, I'm not sold. And definitely the harder I look at Washington, I am not sold, especially on a quarterback I love. In RG3, we're going to talk about him a little later in the show, but he's not right psychologically or physically. All of a sudden, I look at Dallas, and I think we all agree they can score some points. We all agree their defense could be by far the worst defense in the league. But I like the way the schedule sets up because I think they can beat this 49er team that's reeling as it comes to Jerry World. And we, we know that Colin Kaepernick struggled through the preseason. They never got in sync. And I don't think they'll be quite in sync on Sunday. And we know about the hits the defense has taken. And again, just psychologically not in focus yet with the losses and not sure about Ray McDonald. And it's been one bad, big bad story after another. I'm a Rod Marinelli fan. He's a great motivator. He doesn't have a whole lot to work with, but it, the defense will start to get healthier down the line. And I think the schedule is not brutal to me because I'm going to remind you, this Dallas Cowboy team nearly swept the East last year. It came within a late Kyle Orton interception with a minute to go in that game against the Eagles, the last game, of sweeping the division. I think they match up well with these other teams. I think they like to play them. They went to Philly last year and won 17 to three with that all-time bad defense of theirs. So I could see them in a year in which nobody for the first time and it seems like forever is picking them to do anything right. could steal this division. How crazy am I? You're crazy. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. And I, I, listen, offensively, I see where you're coming from. Offensively, Des Bryant, probably one of the premier wide receivers in the league. Tony Romo still coming off of surgery. We'll see what happens there. But seemed you know, okay. Offensively, yeah. probably one of the best top five offensive lines in the league, no mm -hmm. doubt about it. But we we see the blueprint on how to win championships around here. We're, we're starting to see what Seattle's done, what San Francisco's done over the years. We Baltimore Ravens a couple years ago. The key to winning championship and, and to winning division championships is on the defensive side of the ball. And, and let's just talk about the Cowboys right now. The strength, and they've said this into this entire offseason, the strength of this defense is going to be the secondary. Well, let's go through the secondary. Brandon Carr missed the entire preseason. His mother passed away. Yep. God bless her. Mm -hmm. He missed the entire preseason. Mo Claiborne has not played the entire preseason simply because of injury. So we're still not sure about him. Their best, who they call their best corner cover, cover guy, Scandrick. Orlando Scandrick, yeah. will be suspended for the first four games. They have not stopped anyone this entire preseason, mm -hmm. whether it be passing or rushing. They, have, they don't have a premier pass rusher at all. Henry Melton is a guy that we're not sure if he's going to play 20 or 30 snaps. They're just not sure. Anthony Spencer's gone. He's, yeah. he's not going to be for a there. while. Yeah. For a while. So right now, when you I'm, and I'm just looking at this game right now. If you are the San Francisco 49ers, and I know their offense has struggled this preseason. If they come out this preseason, this first game in the regular season, and they don't get on track with all the problems that the Cowboys have on that defense, shame on Colin Kaepernick. Shame on that entire team, simply because they have all the weapons that they have at their disposal. Vernon Davis, Michael Crabtree, uh, just signed Brandon Lloyd. They, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Bolden. Yeah. Bolden. They have mm -hmm. Carlos Hyde now, the young rookie. Yeah. Uh, the list goes on and on as far as talent. There's, they have no excuse to go in, for not going into Dallas and winning this game big. Not a single excuse. I agree. 
because the Dallas Cowboys stink defensively. And if you stink defensively, then you stink, period, because there's but so much you can do. The days of Air Coryell or Dan Marino throwing to Mark Super Duper and Mark Clayton and your offense carrying you to the promised land or somewhere close to the promised land in both cases, are, uh, th that's over with. I mean, this is a, this is. A I thought New Orleans did it when they beat Peyton. I thought that was more offensive. Their defense was opportunistic. It was opportunistic. It wasn't great, but it was. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. Dallas, to their credit, did create some turnovers more last year than they did the previous year. And Rod Marinelli is a motivator. Wasn't much as a head coach in Detroit. No. We know that. No, he's a but straight is, defensive coordinator. But is a straight defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. We understand and appreciate that. But the Dallas Cowboys are a circus. And even Marinelli will succumb to that to some degree because it's just too chaotic, devoid of structure. I think we all know that about the Dallas Cowboys. So ultimately, it puts the onus on the offense, which means it puts the ball in the hands of Tony Romo, which means you're asking him to come to the rescue time and time and time. Time and time again, which means ultimately, somehow, some way, just be patient and wait. Mm -hmm. The mistake is coming because they are an accident waiting mm -hmm. to happen. These are who the Cowboys are, and it's a shame. And my apologies to you because we love having you on the show, <laughs> being a former Dallas Cowboy and having to subject you to coming on to talking <laughs> about how pathetic they are. But they are, Skip Bayless, and you will see as this season unfolds. I have a question for Darren Woodson. At what point does a group of athletes, as bad as they are, in the defensive room that they're in, finally get sick and tired of hearing Stephen A. Smith say how pathetic they are? No, they don't, they, they, they're the one team that doesn't watch the show. They can't take it. Okay. They can't. No, they trust me. <laughs> they watch the show. Yeah. Okay. And they, they love the again, show. Oh, they love the okay. show. Sure. And they definitely <laughs> want to go at you. Yeah, so, <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah. All I'm going to say this to the Cowboys. They can come at me all they want to. I've been waiting four years. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been wrong in four years. Okay. Right. Whatever About 11 them. guys are left, they're going to step on that field for the first defensive snap. After an entire preseason of every time they turned on a TV, a radio, yeah. or picked up a newspaper, or clicked on a story, they're pathetic. At what point does your pride kick in oh, and you, you overachieve? You overachieve. No, no, no. Let's, let's, there. let's okay. go there. Yeah, the pride is there. The ability I, isn't. The, exactly. <laughs> All right. The talent is there. And, and I understand Rod Marinelli is a great defensive coordinator, mm -hmm. great motivator, mm -hmm. a guy that really put, is going to push these guys to another level. But at the same time, when you don't have the talent, when you don't have all three levels, when, you don't, when your secondary is in shambles right now, when your linebacker crew is, is moved around from one guy to the next, Rolando McClain retired and he came back and now he's back, he's, now he's a starter. Justin Durant has moved from middle linebacker to the outside line. And you Bruce don't have Carter's a, not bad. And you, not bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you don't have a premier pass rusher. No, you don't. No, no, I, 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 that is the no. issue. Allow me to interject. You have to have, at, at some point, you have to have somebody. Allow me to interject because I just, I feel like laughing. So let me entertain myself for a second here. <laughs> so, so Melton comes over from Chicago. He's injured. He comes over from Chicago. That's your premier pass rusher. Not only do you I let Hatcher go. No, 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 no. I'm saying that. I'm saying he's a premier for them. Okay. I'm saying not only do you let Hatcher go, you let him go where? Within Washington. a division. Within yeah. a division. To Washington. And oh, by the way, you let, what, what's, what's this guy? De Demarcus Lawrence, whatever. You moved up in the draft to get him. He's, He's out with he the foot injury. So what do you do? Here's the state of the Dallas Cowboys. Forget all of this stuff, because we understand that he came out and he acknowledged that he's he's gay and he's openly gay player, first time in NFL history. We understand it. But what do you do? You go and you make sure if nothing else, I'm going to steal headlines. Not only do you sign this dude to the practice squad, which I have no problem with because he right. deserved it and he earned it, but here's my thing. You had a press conference for a practice player. That's unbelievable. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys are special, hey, man. Seriously, special, seriously. Special. I, I, hope, <laughs> I hope Michael Sam the, is active on oh, Sunday. I do, too. I do too. I, seriously. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, 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 listen. He can be active. He can get, he can get five sacks. Okay, but do you understand what that says? No, a I don't. A practice player, a practice player came on, stepped on the field, and played better than the part you already had. Hey, I mean, this is what it is. That's what it is. They have absolutely admitted 
that they need a, a situational pass. I totally pass understand it. And they, and, and I'm Trump, not. I'm not hating on that. I'm just saying, what does this say about this? I know Sean oh, Lee's out. He got yeah. hurt. I understand Hatch is gone. I understand that that melted the dude that you got. I get all of that. I'm just saying, what do I mean when I say it's an accident waiting to happen? I'm not talking just about skills. I'm saying whatever the story is, Scandra getting yeah. suspended, Melton not being healthy, I mean, you know, oh, yeah, Demarcus yeah, Lawrence right. not being healthy, Hatcher being away. whatever has to happen to get in the way, they will. It will happen to them. It's who they are. It's who they are. Right. And they're still gonna sweep the floor. Darren, uh, <laughs> really? Wrap this really? 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 No, it's not gonna happen this year. It's not gonna happen this year. Yes. Oh, we, you need to get your game pick. Go. I'm doing my game. Good. Pick. Go ahead, Go. man. I'm having the courage of my convictions. <laughs> no, I, I do. Save I do. Yourself. I do. <laughs> Have it. <laughs> Dallas 31. Kaepernick and company, 28. Good. Uh, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, too. I, I honestly do. I think it's good. just flip 35-27. Well, you're giving them some respect then. Uh, I, offensively, okay. they're going to score okay. some points. Right. They're going to score some points. They're going to score okay. some points. I'll give them that. But I'm still picking San Francisco to win. Go big. 30, Go big. 34-24. 24? Oh, come All on. All right. Uh, and a reminder, check out Skip's column on Jerry Jones versus Jimmy Johnson.